Hey guys, remember I told you about my pre-write checklist? I'm going to show you my post-write checklist. And I'm going to talk about spokes, the engine, the chain, the air filter, and the suspensions. So let's get to it. After every ride is normal, for the bike, after getting some pounding and the wheels as well, for the spokes to get a bit loose. And if you want to know how to properly uh, tighten them again, check the pre-ride checklist around here. So after every ride, you should clean the bike. And when you clean the bike, you use some cleaning products. And so it's normal for, after the cleaning your bike, you remove part of the lubrification from the chain. And in order to keep the chain well lubricated and for it to last longer, you should always lubricate it again. And for example, when you're putting the, the chain oil, spin the wheel a bit more after putting it so you can evenly distribute the, the oil evenly around the chain. After cleaning the bike, usually you should run the bike for a few five minutes or something so you can evaporate all the water that's still on the bike. And when you do so, let it cool another five minutes and then check your engine's oil. It's crucial for you to check your engine's oil because it's the first big sign that you can have to see if, the, if your engine is in good shape or not. One of those is to check the color of the engine oil. If it's too black, too dark, you should change it. If it's clear, it's still good to go. The air filter is one of the most important pieces that you always have to keep it well clean. It's the first big barrier for your engine to always have it run smoothly and if you have your air filter clean every time, your engine will most likely run smoothly every time. Mine's probably time to Something that's really overlooked by a lot of us is taking care of your suspensions. When you go right, there's a huge buildup of air in your suspensions and you should always remove it. It's really good practice and your suspensions will last a lot longer if you do it. So the only thing that you have to do is actually unscrew two little screws. You just have to remove them and then tighten them back again. Just tighten them enough, you don't, don't need to over tighten them. So that's it. Um, obviously that riding, it's not always just getting the bike out of the garage and just ride. No, there's a lot to it and in order for you to keep the bike always well maintained, which will make your bike last a lot longer, it's crucial for you to have these, these little cares. They are at the end just little cares that will make you spare a lot of money on parts and accidents. Sometimes it's even harder than actually have a girlfriend, but still it's always worth it. So that's my post ride checklist. If you have other things that you include in yours, please share. Hope you liked it, subscribe and cheers.